At the Democratic National Convention, supporters of Kamala Harris are reaching out to an unlikely group, Republicans. In a video played on the convention floor, one Republican pleaded the case for switching loyalties. So this is my message to all the Republicans and independents who are watching. People like me who voted for and believed in Trump. I made a grave mistake, but it's never too late to change your mind. You don't need to agree with everything you hear tonight to do what is right. We need to be able to trust our leaders. That's why I'm all in for Kamala Harris. Trump's former White House press secretary, Stephanie Grisham, was also given a spot on the Democratic stage to denounce her former boss. Along with former Illinois Representative Adam Kinzinger, Trump National Security Advisor Olivia Troy, and Mesa, Arizona Mayor John Giles, who had this to say about his party's standard bearer. I think the time has come for us as Arizona Republicans to admit the obvious and to start saying the quiet part out loud, which is that our party's nominee is not qualified for office. Also joining the parade of anti-Trump Republicans is Jeff Duncan, the former Lieutenant Governor of Georgia. I think it's drawing on existing anti-Trump sentiment among a number of largely retired Republican elected officials. Uh, but I think it's, you know, it's indicative of a real disillusionment with Donald Trump among a certain kind of Republican. Democrats hope to take advantage of the rift in the Republican Party. With American elections being decided by such narrow margins, both parties are looking for any small group they can get to put them over the top. And by advertising at their convention here in Chicago that some Republicans support Harris, Democrats are hoping more will jump ship. Whether Harris's appeal among disaffected Republicans expands beyond the high-profile defectors inside the United Center is a question voters will answer in November. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.